today is the day that I do the first ever spontaneous thing I have done in my whole life. I ain't a spontaneous girl, but we're trying. We're out here trying. Okay, can I just tell you the time? It's 10 a.m. I don't have a hickey. This is not. I've burned my neck with a curling tongue because I was just so excited and like frantically curling my hair. So I've curled my hair. I've done my face, then realized that I needed to shower, which is stupid. I should have showered first, so I'm gonna need to shower. I'm leaving for the airport, not the airport, the train station in two hours. <laughs> Because we're going to Paris. We're going to Paris on a girls trip today. I'm literally shaking because I don't do things like this. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. That's a lie. Um, I'm a control freak. I like planning and organizing. I need to do a few things before we go, but I feel a bit out of sorts. More so because Duke isn't here. He's at my mum's because I literally got back from the country last night. So I feel like a bit like, where is my dog? Do you know? Like, I feel like I feel weird. Like, I feel like I can hear him, but he's not here. It's really weird. It's such a weird feeling. And waking up when you're used to waking up with your baby like my dog and then he's not here i'm like i feel a bit like strange i feel like he's hiding but he's not either my mom should we make the bed or not actually my cleaner's coming today maybe i'll just make it like semi yeah huh? by the way my hormone test results came back loads of you've been asking and i have really low progesterone any hormone experts in the comments can you tell me what that actually means in non-doctor language apparently it really helps with like energy digestion like loads of things that i feel like i was just gonna say to you i feel like i don't do well but energy <laughs> i don't know i'm either really hyper or i'm in bed crying so <laughs> one or the other. Anyway, I've been taking this progesterone and I think it's definitely helped particularly on my period. We don't filter here. Literally like 90% of you, 95% of you are women. So it has actually helped so far. I'm not a doctor. I wouldn't recommend just going and getting yourself some progesterone, but doing a hormone test to get a better idea of what's going on did actually help me. Something to consider because I'd never even considered that until one of my friends suggested it to me because she had done it. I'm gonna jump in the shower. Let me try and see if I can salvage this hair while I shower. The sign that someone burns themselves in the shower. This. <laughs> Guys, I saved my hair, kind of. It might need to go over it, but you're gonna be very, very happy with me. <laughs> because since I did my first ever Adenona haul, I think that was about six months ago. Click on any video on my YouTube channel since then. Any vlog, I will have been wearing my Adenola pieces. I have never been more obsessed or in love with a brand. And I wear them so much, I went back and checked. I have worn them every single week since I got them. And that is documented here on YouTube every week. Every day, at some point, probably throughout the day, I'm wearing something Adenola because we all know that I ain't wearing body suits and jeans at home. If you're already an Adenola fan, you can go straight onto their website. You can use my code Amelia Free Ship. That will get you free next day delivery. If you are not, I'm going to convert you because this is the best activewear brand that exists in my opinion. This is the only activewear brand you need to be spending your pennies because it is so comfortable, so chic. The quality is amazing. It cinches you in but doesn't cut off your circulation. The leggings do things to people with behinds that are lacking. Me! I also ventured into a new category today. So this is literally like a Santa sack. We're gonna get going. The reason why I'm unboxing this now is because I thought I'm not a travel girly that wears like jeans and you know booties on the plane or on the train. I am a tracksuit leggings travel girly through and through. I thought I'd wear some of my new pieces on the way to Paris. Ooh, this is a new category for me because I don't have an Adenola t-shirt. Black Adenola sport t-shirt. Gorgeous material. What a sport short oversized t-shirt. I will try everything on. Don't you worry, me and you need to see the fit and feel the materials and all sorts. So you might know there is a green Adenola set that I wear so much. It is so figure flattering. I'm going to put in a video of me like here wearing it. I have worn it to death and I was like I need this in another color because the long sleeve with the leggings like almost like it looks like a sort of like catsuit leotard. So I got it in this gorgeous brown color. This color is called coffee bean. I have the tracksuit. Gorgeous, gorgeous autumnal. Oh and I did the same thing but in black because I thought black's gonna look sexy isn't it? My I love walking around on the weekend. Notting Hill like or when I go and get my food at the food markets and I'm wearing my like little catsuit set with my socks and stuff. Oh, I feel chic. I don't know if you saw, I did like a TikTok wish list. 
and I put this cat on my wish list. I now have a very strong cat collection, I have to say. Oh, that is chic. I might wear that all day today. I love a cat, especially if you're the kind of person that tries to long out your hair wash days. Oh, I'm so excited. This stuff is the best. These wrap over leggings. They wrap over on your waist. So flattering. They suck in what needs to be sucked, you know what I'm saying? They suck in the little, little kangaroo pouch where all the sugar likes to accumulate. <laughs> oh, this is a new little style for me, a wrap over matching bra. The colors are so gorgeous because they're kind of muted tones. This is midnight blue. Of course, leggings as well. Oh, I did get another pair of, well, it's actually a triplet socks. Oh, they have black cream and white these socks are so comfortable i did get a sweatshirt their sweatshirts and hoodies and tracksuit they sell out really quickly so you need to go put in your email and get there on time but i did get navy maybe i'll travel in this one today it says adenola on the front uh, adenola sportswear on the back very very cozy and comfy they are such gorgeous sweatshirts and look what else i got okay this is the new category for me this is the piece de resistance and i have always wanted one of these okay. this is their sleeveless padded gilet now just think about this when i'm in my black little set and i've got my padded gilet on i just need to show you the full look with the socks it's gonna give Hailey bieber and it's gonna look like this girl knows what she's doing on a reformer pilates machine that is the vibe that we're going for i also got a little tote bag i love tote bags i literally collect tote bags oh this is a really cute one it's like a little ship size let's try on and decide what we're gonna wear to paris today this is a little coffee bean set love the color love the thumb slits i always feel like thumb slits really give like chic vibes so you can see this a little bit better how flattering it is it almost is like a second skin let me show you the wrap over leggings i've shown these to you before because i wear them so often they really just hug the little hippies in do you know what i mean they're just really flattering especially if you do want to wear it with a crop top so you got the kind of scoop round neck. It's just so soft and so breathable and so easy. Now I'm normally a C cup and I went for a small in this top, which I think works really well. It feels very secure. Like if I do this, the girls, they're staying hugged, but I love this. Like I just feel like it's so stylish. Now I did get a different color top to the leggings, a different shade of blue, but I feel like it's kind of working with the full fit, no? This is with the sweatshirt over the top. So we got the full blue fit going on with the socks which I think looks really cute. Like this is very chic, Hailey Bieber vibes. I'm definitely gonna wear this sweatshirt, I think on the way to Paris, maybe even with the gilet. Let's try that on next. These leggings, by the way, not the wrap over leggings, they're the straight cut leggings. Still again, they come up high waisted, they like suck everything in. I think if you're like me and you're going for something more flattering, you have a short torso, the wrap over leggings really give you that extra length. I am loving the old black fit. I knew I would love this one the most. Giving like sexy Pilates Catwoman vibes. I don't know, something about the thumb holes just make it very like whoo you know even doing this with the adenola sockies in as well i love this full look we're gonna add this up though okay slay adenola guys this is the kind of chic soccer mom vibe that i've always wanted this looks so good why has it taken me this many years to get a freaking padded gilet. God, it's cool, isn't it? I love this. Oh yeah, we're amping this up. All I need is my Stanley water bottle. We're gonna try two more variations for the travel fit. Variation one with the sweatshirt. Now we got the tea. I feel so cool. I love how this looks. This looks like a huge vibe and because of the oversizedness of the top, makes your legs look tiny, tiny, tiny. You know, you gotta pair the oversized with the skin tight vibe oh my gosh not gonna lie i fancy myself if i saw me walking down the street i would hit on me we are en route to the eurostar look guys i've got my little ralph cup with me it's cute my little coffee that i made I just made Susie dance around the platform with me. The things sorry, I Suze. do for you. I'm sorry, that is Suze. love. <laughs> that is love, by the way. <laughs> this is your love language. <laughs> what number are we going to? I can't 17. believe we're going to Paris. I'm I in airport dad mode. Oh, I should not be by trusted. The way, I'm not responsible enough to be an airport dad. <laughs> Susie's an airport dad mode because I'm just here like, woo we're going to Paris. By the way, also, we were like an hour and a half earlier than we should have we been, were. which is yeah. totally fine. So we're we're already on the airport dad vibes, you know? Yeah. I am slightly concerned because you leave a Libra and a Gemini to try and get themselves <laughs> anywhere and it's chaos. It's carnage. I mean, very us to be like standing by the train filming, taking outfit pics the and then all the trains, trains like, to leave. Gone. We have made it to Paris. 
<laughs> it's 6 p.m. Paris time, French time, France time. We're going straight to the hotel. Um, I think we're staying at Le Maurice and we're gonna go meet Vic and then we have a swanky dinner and we're just gonna have like girls' bathroom time. I think we're also sharing a three bedroom suite, which is, this is just gonna be so much fun. Susie just asked me what outfit I brought. She brought three. I bought three <laughs> options. I love you. You she just never know. By the way, I packed five and I took two out. Oh my God. I messaged Amelia this morning and I was like, is it acceptable if for the duration of the weekend we bring medium sized suitcases? Yeah, hell yeah. And she was like, yes, absolutely. absolutely. That, was no, that didn't even cross my mind, you by the way. The fact favorite. that you went to Bali with a carry-on blows my mind. Never again. My dad has tried to convince my sister, my mum and I to like take <laughs> hand luggage and we're, we all just respond like, nah, bro. It's not worth it. I can confirm it's not worth it. It's, it's actually worth it. more stressful. It's more stressful. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I've ever done it, but I can imagine. You have <laughs> it me would be more stressful. It yeah, more exactly. Stressful. We're checking in. It's giving bougie as hell. It's giving mind your own business. <laughs> Me, Susie and Vic actually stayed here. I remember us all meeting in this like lobby section like literally 10 years ago. Yes, I remember that. And you called your accountant. You were like, can I do this? And he was like, no. And we were like, we're doing it anyway. Let's go. Guys, we have checked into the most incredible room at Le Maurice. I think I'm gonna sleep here tonight in my little, look, it's Stagorne, it's like my bathroom. Isn't that amazing? How cool. Look at this bathroom though. Oh yeah. How great is that? Like full marble vibes. The girls are gonna be girling, getting ready here tonight. Where's Suze? The room is so huge. Oh, hi Suze. Look at this room. We need to get ready because we actually have places to be yeah. and people to see. But I'm just so, I can't believe we're doing this. There are drinks to be drunk tonight. <laughs> She's also gonna have FOMO and be like, guys, you were having fun without me. We made as much mess as we could. Oh my god, yes. Susan had something to show you. But firstly, we're we wearing the same leggings. We are. Twinnies. Oh my god. Okay, you guys have to see that. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Isn't she so precious? Are you christening the shroom? We're christening the shroom. Oh my god. Not me bringing like 18 no, bags. <laughs> what fits in here? <laughs> Nothing, no <laughs> glass. Oh my god, how cool. <laughs> you don't understand what just happened. Can I just reenact what just happened for you? Susie heard the doorbell go, takes a vlog camera, runs, opens the door like this. <laughs> it's the random man. He was literally like, oh my god, I've walked into my desk. What did he drop off though? Partridge in a pear tree vibes. And a giant almond. That looks really fun. That was the best moment of my life. <laughs> You shoving your camera in a random man's face, calling him Vic. <laughs> oh, that really tickled me. We're just waiting for Victoria. Getting a start on our makeup, although all we've done is about half an eyeliner because we just keep dancing around. I think the whole hotel's been oh, hearing us for a like, while. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, we need to initiate you into the room. Take off your heels. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, this room! <laughs> she opens the door screaming, puts her vlog camera in this guy's face, and this man is there like holding like a tray of biscuits, like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've chosen my outfit tonight because we're all going for an all black vibe. So I got a little off shoulder knit top with these cute little satin shorts. I Amazon Prime myself some tights. So we're going for tights tonight. I literally never wear tights. I'm probably gonna get a hole in them and then have to take them off. But anyway, I'm ready first, which never happens to me. Well, I'm like, I don't, I don't know how to be ready first. No, you're like, never ready first. What on earth? I'm never ready first. What are you gonna do with yourself? I don't know, I feel so weird. I'm gonna bronze my body. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put in my contacts and uh, spray some perfume. And then I'll probably still have about 45 best. minutes. <laughs> Yes, can we make 
at 9.30, please. 9.30. I try my best and send you back. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, they're so nice here. No, you're so sweet. Bring me up. They're so lovely. We just ordered and already we've got our starters. We got our mains and the fries are floating. Yeah. Please, could I have a cheesecake? Cheese Thank one. you. Yes, why not? We just got in the lift after we've eaten literally everything in France and it goes, I love my vegetable soup. <laughs> Just on your behalf. What about the cheesecake? I say a cheesecake factory cheesecake is probably the best. Oh ever. my god! Isn't and it amazing? I need to take you to LPM, and you have to have the LPM cheesecake. Oh, what's that? It's is the it best London? cheesecake in the world. Yeah. Is it? It's really good. Fantastic. Let's go tomorrow. Yeah. So the, the best thing about this room, yeah. they've put us right in the corner. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> because they knew. They would know. They know we're feral. <laughs> They could tell from the rate that we were emailing. <laughs> oh, guys, we all get to take off our makeup together. Yay! How cute is that? Vic, I am obsessed with your Guerlain perfume. Vanilla Panifolia Extract 21. This is unbelievable. Yes. I love vanilla. Like, I just want to smell it this forever. It's amazing. I reckon I could smell this on a man too, you know. I will always want you. I came in like a rain. Good morning. Last night. We were still chatting in bed at quarter to three. Vic goes, should we set our alarms at eight? Me and Suze wake up at eight. On the dot. On the dot. Actually, we were up a bit before eight. Who's not up at eight? Who wakes up going, why are we awake so early at like eight twenty? Miss Victoria. I am ready to go downstairs. Finishing touch, little CT. Setting spray. That stuff is literal cement. We just came downstairs and looked what we <laughs> world's fanciest butter. Oh, I love fancy butter. Got little dogs on it. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Help. I have never had FOMO of being gluten free in six years. Probably count maybe like three or four times I've been like, oh, I really want that and I can't have it until today. Look how perfect these pastries look. And they're Cedric Golay pastries. I can't eat them. Someone needs to tell me if it's good. Yeah. Oh, Alan Ducasse, wow. Vic just said this is the best pastry she's ever had. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, it looks. You guys know that trend on TikTok and Reels where it's like when people ask me, it's like what people say to get you to leave the table and people like get up in slow mo trying to figure out what are when people ask me like leaving the table thing is. Susie's was. When people ask me if I'm pregnant. Mine was when people ask me how my wedding was. She said hers was when people ask me if I'm pregnant. I said mine was when people ask me how my wedding was. <laughs> you get that so often. <laughs> I'm still, it's been four years and people are like, how's your husband? I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God, you should not be talking to me if you aren't like, <laughs> yeah. caught up enough. It's like when people say to me, so do you live in London? And I'm like, if you don't know that, yeah. we yeah. should not be having a friendly catch up. <laughs> I get that a lot for Manchester. And I know I've just bought the new flat in Manchester, but for the past like eight years since I moved to London, I've had, so what's it like up in Manchester now? And I'm like, I don't know, I don't listen to <laughs> So probably that. When people ask you yeah. how's living in Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, have you come down on the train? No. no. <laughs> We're staying in a hotel that is so close to the Rue Cambon Chanel. And I said I would never go back there because they don't have the good stock because everyone goes to the first ever Chanel. I'm eating my words, aren't I? Because <laughs> we're going back. It would actually be rude not to because it's so close. We've come to Le Bouton to look at these shoes which are actually in my basket on Selfridges. They're the So Kate Booty in suede. Sue's sat down at the store and she goes, this isn't my place, you're on your own. Yeah. I try on these shoes and she's like, um, can I try them on after you? <laughs> they look so good on me, but I think your jean choice is better. Like, I think they're gonna look Let's see. Yeah, they're I feel different. like they could work with, oh, oh my God, Sue. No, Sue, they look so good. Yeah, it snatches your leg. Oh my God, they're so sexual. They just ooze sexual shoes. We're doing a shoe test. They do feel weird when I go downstairs though. She did some shopping. Good morning guys. 
I'm getting ready to go out for a couple of meetings and I have an Armani event tonight. I lost my voice. It was Paris, I lost the voice, but it, it's come back. It's, it's kind of come back, it's a little bit. I'm trying to make it a bit more Phoebe from from Friends vibes. I have something to tell you and it is a revelation that I have had. I actually had this in Paris with the girls which was literally the best trip ever. Oh my gosh, a spontaneous trip. Where have I been? I need to be more spontaneous in my life. How can I be more spontaneous day to day? Can you let me know? Because if I show you that I plan out every hour of my day, you'll be absolutely horrified by what a psycho organizer I am. I'm organized with my time. My point was that I had a conversation with the girls in Paris when we were talking about sharing things and how excited you get to share things. I'm trying to figure out the best way to say this, but it kind of led to us basically all agreeing that sharing things with girls is way better than sharing things with boys. Sorry, boys. But I don't know, something about your girlfriends and having your girlfriends like lift you up. And I feel like in the past four, four and a half years, I've like really worked solidly on my like girlfriends and I'm so lucky that I feel like I'm able to like have a really nice core group of friends that are like like-minded girls that really want the best for each other. Have you seen that Kylie audio going around that's like I just want the best for you. Anyway sorry lads but girls are just better than boys. Girls are better than boys. That is the that is the revolution of the day, let me tell you. My curls are really, they're looking a bit crimped today. My hair's looking a bit flat. I'm not feeling myself today. And I think that's because I lost my voice and I was a bit sick and now I'm feeling a little bit better. But you know, when you just feel like you need a glow up internally. I have eaten already two oranges today. I don't think I should eat three. I feel like I might be stuck on the toilet if I eat three. Is this, oranges do that, is that a thing? Next question is, have you bought anything in the Black Friday sales? I've put them all on my stories. So you can go and see the sales, all on my story highlights, see what you want to shop if you want to shop stuff. Okay, let's get ready because I am going to put on a pair of jeans, I think. Need a bit more blush, maybe. that Maybe that will wake me up. Up you go. Lift up that face, please. The lip gloss I just put on, by the way. Lancome Juicy Tube. I can't believe it. Mm, it's really gorgeous, like thick and sticky in a nice way. Didn't think I would say something as thick and sticky in a nice way, but... It is in a way that like it lasts. By the way, also Beauty Pie. I mean, you probably know if you've been watching me for maybe the past year that this is my favorite candle. I've mentioned this so many times and I saved my candle because this is literally my favorite candle and Beauty Pie bought it out last year as a limited edition Christmas. You need to go and get it. I think you can use my code. Ah! It smells so good. Oh my God, this is the best candle in the world. You need this. Go and buy it right now and use my code. It literally smells like Christmas in a candle. It smells like trees and pines. And it is just the most festive smelling candle. But then it has sweet orange in it. So it's like a tiny bit sweet, but it's like the sweet mix with the wood. Oh, it's amazing. So many people have been tagging me in this that they bought it. And I can't believe I only have one. I think I need to stock up and get a few more because I literally burn this all year round because it makes me happy. And I'm literally going to put it back in the box and like save the scent because it's the best. Candle, it's a bear's candle. I need to actually look up the price right now and just we can just all be blown away. I hope it hasn't sold out. What if it's sold out? I wish they had this in a fragrance. Oh no, it's on eBay. Does that mean it's sold out? Oh thank goodness. Oh my gosh, it's 25 pounds and with my discount, you can get 10 pounds off your order, which means you could get the best candle in the world for 15 pounds. <sighs> Go and do that right now. Don't waste any time. Since I saw you last, <laughs> this is the current setup of the shroom. I have tried on almost everything in my wardrobe. Actually, I'm gonna show you out here. Cause this is neat now. <laughs> you can actually see my outfit. This is what we're settling on for the outfit of the night for dinner at the Connor. It's a Christmas dinner with Armani for Luminous Silk. So we got this little Lagence set, which is really giving. I mean, I've got to put on my new boots boots that I got from Paris. But what do we think of this little set, this off shoulder situation? I would recommend getting this top, you know, even alone. Great pants too. And when I have everything on, I'll give you the 411. I do need to redo my lips though. So let's wipe this off. And then I'm going to go to Vic and Susie's hotel room to go and meet them and you want your lips to look bigger this is what we do we've got to wipe them out first then we're going to do a little ct lip liner this is the last of my lipstick this is a great color from mac it's called honey love so that's that nice and nude and then this i'm loving i think you can get it in the cult beauty sale right now i'll link it below it's pat mcgrath and it's called love potion really creamy really smoothing great lip gloss so fun Mm, that feels amazing. Oh yay. Okay, full fit, ready for dinner. Now you can see a little bit better. Oh my God, these shoes are brand new, so I just slid on the marble. What do we think? I think this is really giving Princess Diana chic, you know? It's obvious that I'm watching The Crown, maybe. Oh, you know what? <gasps> yes, 
she did it. My cleaner. I put bath salts in my bath. Literally just magnesium salts. And they stay in my bath. And she managed to clean them. Thank goodness. Oh my god, I'm so grateful. Because this is... Can you see that and that there? Is that them? I need to inspect this with my glasses on properly. I feel like you can still see the marks. But way less than it was. Anyway, this is my full fit. Let's go. I think I influenced my friends a bit too hard because Susie has just rocked up wearing Olympia 10 oh, and Renee Carolia. Too much. I'm it's like, too much. I'm to... like, you look more like me than me. Oh, wait, show them the one we got you. Oh, my God, I haven't, haven't told seen my it. vlog yet. Wait, I've told your vlog. I vlogged for you. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, that wasn't my vlog camera. That was yours. Oh, no. <laughs> no, then this you haven't shown haven't any... seen it. Okay. You haven't I haven't them told story. them anything. Yeah, Literally this nothing. is the full tea. I vlog for you now. You're vlogging for oh, me. Bless you. Thank you. So we were in Paris waiting for the Eurostar home. I think the spicy margarita one came up on Net Porte ads because it's been stalking me. Amelia said, "Yeah, cute, but do you know which one would be really cute for you?" She brought up this, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's unreal!" This was the view when Ryan proposed to me. I was like, "Oh my god, I need it." I messaged Vic, being like, "Do you get a discount?" Because I'm thinking of buying this bag. Meanwhile, Vic's like, "No." <laughs> At that point, I'd already spoken to Vic and I was like, this is what we're getting, Suze. This is the bag for Suze. I asked you about it at the Eurostar because I was like, it's so appropriate for you and where you got engaged, but are you an Olympia Latin person? I got this one because I thought, like Vic basically said to me, I've ordered you both with a discount. You can see which one you like. You can send one back, do whatever you want. But basically she just ordered me this one and they'd already bought me this one. So cute. Sorry, I'm having a throat lozenge. Look at you with your Olympia Latin collection. You've got a slay collection now. They're going to be so nice. Eventually, eventually have my walk-in wardrobe. Oh my god, sit so nicely together. Are you going to wear this one tonight? Yeah, I think so. I think it's quite a light good one for the all black vibes. Yeah, they're a really good talking piece for anyone looking to go to a party. Whenever I wear them to a party, the amount of people that come up to me and are like, oh my god, is that a book? Is that a bag? Spicy mug? You know, like, that's so cool. If you need a margarita and you don't know how to do it, you come see me. That's so cool. Sorry, guys, I'm not well. My throat with tissues. I really shouldn't be going out, but you know what I'm like with commitment, so I've got to stick to them. Gals like out again. Part two. Right, let's find Miss Monsieur. Did you just mama did Anna? She probably did. It was like Chris Jenner. Yeah, Anna was there slaying it. I was like, Anna. I was like, Anna. I could see someone in the background and was like, wait, who's taking a video of me? And it was me. My biggest fan. Thank you. Good morning, guys. How fun was last night? Oh my god, it was amazing to catch up with everyone. Armani threw the best dinners, like so many OG faves, me and Aunt Patricia sat together, and I was like, oh. This just feels so great. I'm such a fan of Luminous Silk, so it was really nice to celebrate my long-term love for a product. I do, however, have another Adenola order, which I'm so excited about because this is their new collection. You may have noticed I did not order a tracksuit set in my last unboxing. Oh, this color. This is a gorgeous color. It's like this olive green. What did they actually describe this as? They described this as khaki. I love their sweatshirt so much, but what I love more is when they match. Oh yeah, we got the drag suits. We got, did this here? I'm no on them. Oh yeah, they do very subtly. Can you see that? Oh, lovely. Oh, this is stunning. A little waffly situation. Zip up hoodie. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize this little waffle hoodie is cropped. Look how cute that looks. This is so sweet. I actually don't have anything like this in my stash and it's got a little a rain protection. I never bring umbrella, so I always need a hood. Hold on a minute, okay? I was literally just putting on these track suits and I was like, wait, it actually looks so cute with the waffle hoodie, doesn't it? This is really giving like chic soccer mom casual vibes. I love it. Okay, that looked good, but this looks better. This, oh, I love this color on me. Gotta say, this color is a vibe. Look, with my little Uggs. Oh, I don't know, like, I love you so much. You have completely changed the game for me. I don't know if you saw my TikTok the other day. I put up a TikTok on a short and I said, and I said things that have changed my life. I don't know, the sweats. <laughs> they have actually changed my life. I just feel so cool and comfy when I wear them and that's just the vibe you know oh remember you can use my code amelia free ship for free next day delivery okay i'm gonna wrap up the vlog here oh look at this mug look at this vibe this is the vibe right now i hope you've enjoyed it i will see you next sunday 9 30 a.m with another vlog and if you miss me during the week you can always find me on tiktok instagram and youtube shorts Mwah. love you guys bye